this room thinking I feel like shit Now I'm barely breathing I know I fucked up Got caught cheating It's all my fault Now I'm hardly speaking What can I do? What can I do to try to save the day? Ooh, that's a big fat You are yeah. listening to the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City on VegasAllNightRadio.com Hey, put that, put that camera down to this end and show all the fat chicks eating fudge because some of our feeder boys will be happy. Eliza, Desiree, Jezebel, it's all fudge night. It's fudge night at the Curvaceous Bounty of Sin City. Packing away the fudge. Packing the fudge for ya. Packing it up. Packing it up. <laughs> Miss Desiree Divine, yesterday was your first fund over. Fund over. Fund over. Fundraiser <laughs> for uh, doggy do overs. It was. I was there in the morning and it was right. fabulous, darling. Fabulous. No, it was great. It really turned out good, and I was super appreciative to everybody that came. And you and Kelly and Irma were there. We we missed you. I'm on quarantine. Are you on quarantine? Then why am I here? Yeah. How did this happen? That's why she's in the corner. <laughs> to me. Man. Sorry, you're the new chick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had the stomach flu last weekend. Oh, I've got a head, clo- head cold this weekend. I am tr- so. fighting something off. I've been struggling the last few days. There's but. a flu going around. Oh, hell no. <laughs> so it was a huge, I, 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 as far yeah, as I could see, it had to be a great, because there were people walking out of there with bags and bags of stuff. Yeah, there was somebody that came early, and I mean, everything was priced extremely, right. like it was three, very five, I mean, there was nothing over $20, um, except two, three pieces, sorry, whoo, uh, three pieces, you know, of clothing out of all the, I mean, and we probably had close to... 900 articles. Easy. Um, yeah. Easy. And you guys had them all sized. It was great, the work you guys put into yeah, that. Yeah, no, it was a lot of work. And especially the first time <laughs> that uh, I've ever done such a thing. And if it wasn't for the help, um, you know, I had a few great people breathe with well-rounded, um, was it B- well-rounded BBW event. She helped. Um, a couple really close friends came and helped. And... If it wasn't for them, I would have still, at this moment, been sitting in my living room sobbing because I was so overwhelmed <laughs> with everything. And I, you know, I'm not, I hate to shop and I don't go to garage sales and I don't go to thrift stores because I hate to shop. And <laughs> so I had no point of reference. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you for the people that came and helped me because. And you know what was great is because when I was there in the morning, you know, unfortunately here in this town, we associated different people with different BBW groups in town, but there was people from everywhere. And there were people I had never even seen at any of our events there that I met. No, there were new people. And I, you know, in there, when people came and bought stuff, I shoved in their bags um, (laughs) cards for the BBW All Rounded. I put um, BBW Club Las Vegas cards in the bag. Yeah. Like everybody that came that I didn't recognize or knew that didn't know about anything. She, she's just stuffing over here. All right, get, the, the, get the camera. In. I know there's some in her boobs for later. Like, I know it's there. No, that's like, for me. Wait, that's for me later. <laughs> there is nothing worse than chocolate in your cleavage because it melts and then it, like, sticks and it's all, it's gross. Like, a crumb for later Keep eating, fine. Eliza. Let's see how much fudge you can eat in the next hour and a half of the show. <laughs> I really feel like I should get out a camera and put this on clips for sale. <laughs> like, we're missing money here, folks. Like, get to it. <laughs> Don't take a fat girl's fudge, Jessica. No. Wait, wait, she's a fat girl, fat girl? <laughs> uh, she Oh, she's got a knife out now. So I'm going to get the baby oil right now. We're going to have a fudge off. <laughs> I would be. I need to be a director now that I don't do porn anymore. Yeah, I'm maybe. I'll direct. Right. I, mean, I can make people do the craziest shit. <laughs> the things that go on in my head, they're just you know. What, you, you should get together with Amazon Amanda and do all of the dual the, Amazon. Yeah, right do the, Well, you know we do live stuff. together. <laughs> yeah, I know you do. <laughs> but uh, she's well, when not she's that in, much though. She's, you know, some people said that if they didn't really know or see pictures or know that she exists, that they would think that I was lying. Because <laughs> like, she's technically lived with me for four months, but only been there for a week. <laughs> I know. I keep texting her all the time. When are you coming to the show? Oh, what on yeah. the town? Yeah. She's never in long never. enough to She's come. She's never actually, yeah, you can have some. She's never actually moved anything in. <laughs> when she comes, she comes with a suitcase <laughs> and leaves with her suitcase. Well, yeah. that's okay. That's the best kind of roommate to have. Yeah, no, you know, it comes. You know, I never thought that I would have a roommate that I actually missed. I was like, when are you coming? It's been time with we me. We have the camera going on over here on Eliza because this is like too much. Eat some more fudge, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
No, but the um, the, we've got we got guest jacket off right now. And I'm gonna do the event twice a year, by the way. Oh, good. Um, it's gonna happen once in the winter, so January, and then once right before uh the bash. So let for, everybody know in the BBW community here in Vegas to save your clothes. Yes. And you can um, yes, yeah, save your clothes. They're fighting. Over I know. The I feel like I should get the oil. The referee. Just, maybe I'll just put some oil on me and let them like reach for each other. I don't know. See things in my head. They happen. I don't know. Um, but, uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'll give you my number, so, or, you know, add me on Facebook, Doggy Do-Overs, I just ate the mic, um, Doggy Do-Overs, you could like my page, I'm trying to be business-like here, bitches, knock it off, <laughs> <laughs> I'm all like, <laughs> I know, ah, uh, I give him, once again, if you can't beat him, join him, when, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I lost track. You guys are so right, irresponsible. You're going to do doggy do-overs twice a year. No, I'm going to do the plus-size clothing uh, sale twice a year. Right. Um, I'm going to do doggy do-overs all year. <laughs> <laughs> do the plus-size clothing sale twice a year, once in the winter, because, uh, you know, people, uh, winter clothes are expensive, and so people need, you know, clothes. And then in the summer, in July, right before a bash, so that everybody can get, Jesus Christ. Yeah, because everybody uh, goes through their right clothing before, before the bash right. to see what so they're they, taking. Because there's all the costume parties, like costume events, you know, bathing suits, all that kind of stuff. You know, you could make some bathing. All right. Some fudge on my lips. <laughs> We're gonna need help later after her sugar coma. I don't know. What oh happened. my god! I need help. She's got a... Girl, you're gonna be in a sugar coma. Hold on. Ah! This is gonna be the, oh uh, the first picture of my new phone. Yeah, there you go, Liza. Put that fudge in your mouth and let's take yeah. a picture. You, fudge. you put it all in a life. More brownies today. I mean, oh my god, you're gonna be diabetic when you wake up. <laughs> when you wake up. I gotta tell you about the diabetes. <laughs> Diabetes. <laughs> Diabetes. Diabetes. No, no, no. It doesn't. They go the sugar. We got the sugar. The sugar. The sugar. There we go. Yeah, I'm shaking for a That was totally incomprehensible. Thing. Yeah, uh, the diabetes. <laughs> the diabetes got to me already. The sugar. Uh, it's the sugar. I got sugar. the sugar. Got the sugar. That's ridiculous. So yesterday was uh, last night. Uh, or yesterday when I was working, I put my purse or my phone in my purse and then. Um, somebody packed a whole bunch of stuff on top of my purse, <laughs> and my phone got smashed in the interim. And so uh, yesterday I was uh, learned that my phone was broken uh, at my charity event, you know, because no good deed goes unpunished. <laughs> and <laughs> there was a uh, uh, I was devastated because I know no phone numbers, no phone numbers. No, me either. And the same way. She couldn't get her car back. I now. couldn't <laughs> go swap my car. I couldn't do anything. And I don't. It's. I didn't realize how dependent I became on my phone. Mm -hmm. Like I do everything on my phone. I do business. I everything. So when I lost my phone, I was devastated, and it made me realize I don't even know my boyfriend's phone number. <laughs> <laughs> don't feel bad. I don't know mine either. I was like, oh my god, I'm a loser. I was because I was telling Jess, I was like, here, take my boyfriend's number in case you can't get a hold of me. And I tried to give it to her and failed. You guys are such good sharers. Oh no, but Jezebel went like that. Jezebel did this. Oh, that must be the peanut butter one. <laughs> Like so are you ladies excited for AVNs? I mean, I guess. I mean, you're, you're, you're <laughs> like, you need a bike here. I'm really excited for the expo. Can the award the show. I mean, it's very nice that. that they yeah. should be under the fudge. invited us, but <laughs> I know that they had to fight to let us walk the red carpet. And they will BBW. be announcing. BBW, right. Yes, and then they will be announcing the BBW category. After the show is done, after the broadcast is done, they'll put it up on the teleprompter and let us know who won. That's so shitty. Yeah. <laughs> well. Yeah. And hopefully Small this steps. is the only. That's what I said. This is the first only year they do that because it's the first year, and then baby steps into being a regular part. Well, I mean, year. before there was no BBW categories to be wow. be heard of. Right. You know. So. Well, like yeah, they didn't have any uh, tranny categories before, and then they um, now they're walking on stage. So maybe you know. It'll that take a few years. Be accepted. Yeah. You're Soon. a pioneer, Eliza. It'll take a few years, but you know. Eliza, you just pioneer the way. Just 
push your way through. Well, you know, here's the thing. Fuck your way to the top, Eliza. Let me let me give you some advice as a old timer. <laughs> okay, um, don't act an ass. Like everybody that goes, make sure that they fucking act with some decency. The the big problem is that there's so much drama in the BBW community mm-hmm. and um big bitches go to, you know, events and um end up acting an ass and then nobody wants to work with us. I've been in this industry for a long time. I was, you know, one of the first BBWs that did a lot of different things and I always found that the people that I went ar- along with like, you know, the the rest of the BBW crowd always had to act an ass. Like nobody could act like a civilized no. <laughs> professional, and it was always some kind of drama and problem. Well, that's why people keep working with me because I am professional, whereas models who are my haters do not get um, you know jobs anymore because they cause so much drama in the community. And nobody wants to work with them. Yeah, it's yeah. you know, and that's the real you know big deal. Like a lot of people are like, why don't you know anybody shoot BBWs and blah 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 blah? But it's because there's so much drama that comes along with it. it it's not necessary. Like. You know, we're big girls. You know, when I got into the industry, I really got into the industry to, like, change a lot of things. When I first started, everything was, like, super derogatory. Like, there was so many um, companies that don't even shoot big girls anymore that were, you know, trying to to do it. And there, it was all, like, um, yeah, like, clown, yeah, like, you know, treat big girls bad. Talk bad to them, you know, treat them like pigs. Make them get around and squeal on the floor and type shit. And, you know, me and, and there was, you know, a few other people that, you know, when I started and stuff that were big in the industry that, you know, were trying to change the kind of the way that it, it, it went. And there was only two companies, um, Plumper Pass being one of them, that even had, like, decent titles for the, their movies, like BBW Dreams. Um, and there was another one, uh, Chunky Lovin', Chubby Lovin', I forget which title it was. Um, everything else was, like... Uh, fatty freaks, <laughs> you know, like all these, you know, kind of. Uh, I w- was pretty devastated when one of the movies I came out uh, was called Whale Watchers. I think it was Whale Watchers Three. I was in and another one. I was like, what? <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> like, how did this happen? Um, I was pretty sad when that that happened, and I was like, this has to change. Like, you know, porn shouldn't be about treating you know, big girls like shit, it should be about loving a big girl and appreciating, you know, her body. And, and you know, there's a lot of people out there that, that like big girls and want to see them as sensual, not as, you know, fuck objects to just, um, you know... Feel better then. Well, to yeah. be derogatory towards, to degrade. Uh, That's what I was trying to say. Does, does it offend you when uh, regular size girls porn movies are called, you know, sluts on parade or anything like that as well? No. Or Well, I think all, I mean, I learn, I know that there's a lot of, um, most porn <laughs> is named poorly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> most of it. But, um, you know, a lot of, more of the porn that was, was named badly that I was, uh, felt bad by, it wasn't like it was like a, um, a dirty name. It was like making fun of them. Like a derogatory right. name. Right. Well, I mean, well, lots of porn is n- named like, you know, Midnight, Betty, Blow Bang, Cum Guzzler, whatever. You know? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, they're all, they have horrible names, but they're all like, generally like, fuck objects, you know, like, type names. Like, you know, this is a hardcore, nasty... But who nasty, they're appealing to right. is the men. They want to know that it's sometimes it's hardcore. You know, those right. guys, they get off on that. That's what they're trying to sell as those Right, guys. exactly. But the the names like were the not... Boy, you know, the right. fraternity boys who was amazing at Rachel to fuck a fat girl. Like, that's right. what she's Like, making fun, making fun of it. Of it wasn't like guy. that it was, like, hardcore porn. Like, the, the names that are all poorly named, like, porns. It was... Yeah, making fun of the fat girl type porn. Yeah, we weren't porn stars, we were just clowns. Like right, that came and, you know, wore our clown gear in the movies. And, you know, everybody, you know, people would buy fat girl porn and then, like she said, watch it in a college dorm and it would be the big joke. Right. You know, that's the kind of thing that that when, when I started, that was a big problem. You know, like lock the guy in the closet with a fat girl and, you know, th- that was his... <laughs> 
punishment, punishment <laughs> you know. Like, it's ridiculous and sad. I want to ask you girls a question. We got a lot of fat chicks in this room, okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> Say now, so. I was talking to a friend. I was talking to a friend of mine this week who loves, 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 loves fat chicks. Mm-hmm. We were texting. And I said something about being fat, you know, like, I don't even remember, like, my fat ass or something. And he said, he types, types back and says, don't use the F word. Um, it's very derogatory. Use chubby. And I said, whatever. I'm you know fat. what? I say I'm, I'm fat. fat. Do any of you girls get offended by that? No. Actually, you know, I get offended I a, when somebody says, oh, look at this fat bitch. Blah, blah, blah. I have a story that happened when you, today, minutes before we went on the air about that. When you say something like fat and use it as a derogatory thing, then it becomes a derogatory thing. I use fat in an everyday sentence. Me because too. I take away the power for people to use it against me. Right. Like when I say that I'm fat, like you can't say I'm fat and hurt my feelings because hey, I Captain know, Obvious. Yeah, yeah I'm fat. You know, like I'm fat. I've been you fat, and I'm gonna be fat. <laughs> right. Okay. So so here here's my here's my devil's advocate dilemma with um, this argument against fat girl porn and the titles and the way that girls are treated. Haven't women been treated like sex objects in porn movies this whole but time that's the, anyway? That's, that's different. That's not what, what I'm saying, though. Like, it's sex objects in dirty, hardcore, nasty, filthy, and bad-named porn is one thing. When you're making fun of, like, jokey joke, like, haha, you know, fat girls, they should just be, you know, sat on and treated like shit, and, you know... But like, uh, girls have been had treated, all girls, any size, has been treated that way in porns for a really long time. So where does the difference come in? If we're going to do it for the fat girl, should we do it for all the girls? Well, I don't think any, right. about, I don't think there. any woman should be, or any person for that matter. I mean, I know that they're like, trust me, I've been in the fetish world for a long time. And I've done some pretty fucked up shit to people on their request, <laughs> like <laughs> as per their request, you know, <laughs> not because I wanted to. In fact, sometimes I thought, this really crosses my boundaries. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know if I want to do this. I don't like know if ball I want to do this. Oh, no, I like that. <laughs> yeah. I am a. No, no, I like yeah, that. I I'm absolutely a ball ba- I am absolutely a ball buster all day long. I will do that all day. Yeah, no, I love that. <laughs> it is. No, no. That's I think not she just one of those got things. turned on talking about it. Right. But, like, one guy, you know, asked me to, like, uh. <laughs> I didn't get turned on. It just makes me happy. I don't know. Um, one guy asked me to, you know, uh, pet egg my feet. Oh, God. And, oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> and then, you know, he wanted to eat the shavings and spit in his mouth to wash it down. Like, you know, those kind of things, like, I have a hard time with because I have to, like, observe it. And then I'm just in the corner, like, yeah, what? Yeah. Like, what? Oh, I just feel like, like I got this what's pretty what's feeling in my mouth now. What's cannot be unseen. Let me tell you. There's been a few times. You know, I mean, I've killed people in different scenarios multiple times. Like, you know, I put a plastic bag over a guy's head and duct taped it right until the point where he was passed out. And, you know, sometimes I think, oh, God, what if something really goes askew? Then we're going to see a, right. see a story about you on CSI, okay? okay. <laughs> We're like, really? Do I really want to do this? He Always says it's okay. Should I have him sign a waiver? <laughs> like, you know, I feel like that too. And I'm also like, I did a lot of squashing and like uh, face sitting and all that kind of stuff, you know, trampling. I got to the point where I wouldn't trample anybody in high heels anymore because I always felt like I was going to um, puncture. rupture. Oh, yeah, yeah, puncture. Please. I was yeah. like, and you know, one guy, I cracked his rib and he was like, oh, it's cool. It happens all the time. And I was like, oh, I'm really devastated about this. You know, <laughs> he was like... Yeah, I felt it crack when I was standing on him. And he was like, oh, no, it's cool. Keep going. I was like, ah! <laughs> like, well, I just broke yeah. your rib. I, exactly. And he was like, ah, it happens all the time. I was like, oh, did you super glue it back together? Like, <laughs> is it unstable? Like, what's happening here? So, you know, there's, like, some things I've done that I'm just, like, really not on the side of okay with. But, <laughs> you know, like, but, you know, I don't think anybody should be treated like they're subhuman. You know, like, you know, if you go and make a movie, you know, and people there um, are just there to talk, abuse you pretty much. Like, I don't think anybody should be abused, and especially just because most of those girls that allow it are doing it because they need the paycheck. Aren't there some girls who are submissive that allow it because that's what they enjoy? Yeah, but not usually. Like, I don't find that in porn. I think that a lot of girls that are like that, that do that kind of thing, 
in my experience, from the people that I know, it's a personal I do private know thing. A lot of subs, <laughs> like I know one girl that just likes to be drilled in the face. Like she likes to be full on punched in the face, constantly over repetitively. She wants to come out of that bitch black and blue. Like, but I find that those people are generally more private, you know, because they want to be <laughs> kind of hard to. Sh- Kind of hard to uh, hide a two black eyes, right, but yeah. a busted jaw. Well, you know that's what she. I mean, that's when she'll get hit with f- phone books. Like you know, you'll hit, she'll get hit with a big ass. I want to know who this girl is. But <laughs> but other girls I find that do really shitty porn like that are generally just doing it because they need the money, and they'll let people treat Abuse them like them shit like on that. film because they're broke. And I think that's super fucked up. If there was a lot of people like that, you know, Alexia, that were like all about it and wanted to be treated that way. But I don't know any of those people. I haven't met any. And I've met a lot of bitches, let me tell you. (laughs) In my seven years in this industry, I know a lot of people. And I have yet to meet anybody that's like, yeah, I love it. I love to be treated like shit on camera. You know, (laughs) they're just like, you know, I have, I do it because what I do. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of those porns, too, they portrayed you like they were going to have it like a normal porn. Yeah. And it came out. Like you're disgusting fat woman, not right. like they treat you normally, and then when it comes and when out, you get there, it's like, wow, you know, okay, completely this is different. Actual, you know, <laughs> they're making fun of me. Shitty. <laughs> How did I get here? <laughs> yeah, and then you have to go through with it because you're already there, and it's just like you feel they pressure you into doing it. Right. You know, right. just like there's a couple of guys, male stars that I used to work with that are like that to girls. Like you know, I they've gone almost to the point where I would consider it almost rape. You know, because especially like, you know, girl will be like, no, no, I don't want to do anal. And then all of a sudden he's drilling her ass and she's crying. Like, I've witnessed some really fucked up shit. So, I mean, that's where I come in to the point where I'm like, oh, that's not okay. It's not okay for people to do that to anybody. I don't care for what reason. Well, like a lot of the models, they don't realize they can speak up and, you know, say no because they feel like they're just going to be replaced by the next girl who will do it. Right. And like you said, they really do need the money. That's why, you know. If you're going to get into porn because you need the money, don't do porn. Do webcamming. Yeah. If you want to, you know, have a career in porn, then do it. But, you know, there's much, much easier ways to not sacrifice your, you know, morals or whatever it is. You are listening to The Curvaceous Bounty. We'll be right back with Ketchup. Ketchup. 